Let's start with the banner section. The banner section has an image in the background and on the top it has a black overlay with a cutout at the center. This image has a class name banner-text and because of the cutout we can see through to the background image. I'm going to add an interaction to the image with the class of banner-text element so that when we hover over the center image the whole banner overlay hides and we can see the entire background image. The concept is similar to the CSS hover effect, but this approach is not limited to child elements. Here we have to add two interactions. First, to hide the banner overlay when you hover over the image, and second, to reveal the banner overlay when you move outside of the image. To hide the banner overlay block on mouse hover. First, select the img.banner-text from the tree panel or directly select it from the page view. Go to the interactions panel. Click on the activate button if Pinegro interactions are not already activated. Select interactions from the actions list. Now the interaction settings should appear. For trigger, select mouse enter slash touch start. For the target, choose Select on Page. Go to the Tree panel, click on the div with the class name Banner-Overlay, which is the parent of this image. We are simply hiding the overlay block, so let's create a custom animation. From Animation, select Custom Animation, or you can just click on Edit Animation. Go to the Timeline Editor and click to add a new transition. Set the position to a value of 0. Set duration to a value of 0 0.2. Now click on Add Property, select Opacity, and then Auto Opacity. Set the value to 0. Now if you check the page and hover over the center image, you will see that the whole overlay block will hide. What we need next is to reveal the overlay block when the cursor is out of the image block. For this, we will add a new interaction. To reveal the banner overlay block, first, keep the img.banner-text selected. On the Interactions panel, click Add Interaction. Animation 2 should appear. For Trigger, Select Mouse Leave slash Touch End. For the target, choose Select on Page. Go to the Tree panel. Click on the div with the class name Banner-Overlay like we did before. We're going to reveal the overlay block by changing the auto opacity from 0. So let's create a custom animation like before. However, this time, auto opacity should be set to 1. So first, click on Edit Animation. Go to the Timeline Editor, add a new transition, and click on the transition bar. Set the position value to 0. Set the duration value to 0 0.2. Now click on Add Property. Go to Opacity and select Auto Opacity. Set the value to 1. One last thing we should do for both interactions is restart them. Click on Advanced Options, then click Restart on Play. This makes sure that the animations will replay when the interaction is triggered once again. Let's check the page. You should see the banner overlay reveal and hide as you hover in and out of the center image.